जले जले Oh my god I'll do the Jule 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 Come on show some pics oh is kito This is the Lay Main Market. Explore local Lay Market rather than buying everything in uh, Lay Main Market. Day 3 in Leh, we are all going for medical test right now. So this year uh, the total charges are 9300 for medical test and uh, insurance and rescue everything included. So here is 2023. <laughs> Hmm. That's the rescue insurance card. Everyone from our group cleared the medical test. Uh, most of us got the blood pressure a bit high. So they asked us to wait for 15-20 minutes and did the test again. Still we got the BP high but uh, eventually they gave us the fitness certificate considering that uh, blood pressure is usually a bit high at high altitudes. So absolutely don't worry. Keep yourself calm and get it tested. Our, the confluence of Indus and Janska. So this is the Indus and that's the Janskar river. Here we have the confluence and we're gonna be trekking on the Janskar river. So we are friendly on each other right now. So people are getting down roadside. Hello Rupe sir, how are you feeling? Hello, I'm feeling so chilled, so good, so happy. Hello Bugi, how are you feeling? Cold. Cold? <laughs> yep. Feeling very excited and that's very cold. It feels like uh, the temperature would be somewhere around uh, uh, 15 to 20, minus 15 to minus 20 degrees right now. This is our first base camp, Somo Paldar. Those are the rescue team tents and uh, here and there we can see the toilet tents uh, like this one and the blue one in the back. So those are actually pitched by uh, the rescue team itself uh, to maintain your hygiene. And uh, all these temps, tents are like uh, pitched every single day. So the porters will come and pitch the tent and tomorrow when we move from this base camp, they will remove this tent and pitch it again. The same logistics will be pitched again in the next base camp. And uh, oh, this is the kitchen tent and this is the dining tent. They served veg palau today. So this is our entire team having veg palau. 
This is the kitchen staff. We are in a place called as uh, Somo. You can pause this video and uh, read through the story behind this. Jule! Jule! Keep chadar clean message has been written over the sand by porters and I believe it looks uh, clean so far. This is still a beginning of the season. So I, it looks pretty clean. Like, I mean, I'm not seeing any plastic or dirt anywhere. Very rarely you will see the sunlight falling on the chadar. Is a hey. some sections the rope are been attached, which we can use. Yes, sir, I'm all fit. Oh. <laughs> I'm seeing a very light snowfall as of now. Weather condition doesn't look much good. So if it's cloudy, then the chadar will break because the heat will be trapped. If it is cloudy with the clear sky, the chadar will be intact. Hopefully, the sky clears off soon. If not, it's gonna be a difficult day. This one is rough solid ice. You can believe in this. This is strong and it is not slippery. You can walk normally by lifting your leg in this kind of formation. This is the brittle ice. We never know 
what's beneath this it can be directly the water or a blue ice or a rough solid ice should be very careful while walking on this brittle ice the only way is to follow the guide ah seeing this way right? instead of directly go inside it can be a blue ice or a water directly inside this is the blue ice formation you can believe in this formation this is pretty solid but uh, you need to be very careful it's uh, very slippery and you can easily break your bone if you fall in a wrong way 5 minutes into the chadar you will hit all, all sort of uh, ice formations i'll do the This is how the ice breaks on every step. Should be very careful. The most difficult part of chadar trek is you can't enjoy the view and walk at the same time. Either you should walk, should watch your steps carefully and walk, or stand beside, have a good view, and then move forward. doing both at the same time can be dangerous and this is my team come on show some flex oh is ki to lagata hai ho ji ho ji ho ji ho ji ho ji ho ji and this is one of the dangerous section we walking on a blue ice which is very slippery next to the river this trek is indeed dangerous one mistake you fall in a river you will be dead in a matter of seconds there's no way out absolutely there's no way out even guide and truck leaders can't help you in this so you need to be very careful In few places where chadar is not formed properly we we'll have to take a detour and uh, gum boots are pretty comfortable even uh, while climbing over the rocks so no need to carry any trekking shoes for this trek unnecessary it will be extra weight so come with a normal shoe till lay and from lay onwards it is just the gum boot which will so only gum boots that too it just cost 350 rupees and that's the hero of the entire trek for sure
one small mistake and you will get inside the ice blanket that is it that is it this is why chadar is called as a dangerous trek or a difficult trek of all in india Today the weather was very bad because of it the chadar has already broken so the only way now is to walk on the edges of the mountain which is very very difficult and nice awesome cake Happy birthday to you Happy birthday to you Happy birthday to Sonia Happy birthday to you Bye bye thoda Boiling water show in minus 20 Oh my god जले जले चम क्या बोल रहे चमरस बोलो चमस की पोइना हैप्पी हैप्पी चमस की पोइना सो आई जस्ट एक्सप्लेन यू व्हाट यू रिक्वायर ऑन अ चादर ट्रैक दिस इज ऑल यू नीड दिस इज अ एब्सोल्यूट गाइड एंड यू डोंट नीड टू कैरी एनीथिंग एल्स अदर देन व्हाट आई गोना टेल यू राइट नाउ सो आई विल स्टार्ट विद द स्टार्ट फ्रॉम द बॉटम सो गम बूट्स यू डोंट नीड टू कैरी एनी अदर बूट्स ओके गम बूट्स इज ऑल दैट इज रिक्वायर्ड नो नीड टू कैरी even a trek shoes or any other shoes and this gum boots don't carry don't bring it from your native buy it directly in leh it just cost 350 rupees you can easily get any size gum boots in leh okay after the gum boots i'll just show you the socks that is required so the socks should have a inner fleece like this so a top coat and a inner fleece so this is must and only one layer of socks is enough this also you can easily get it in any shop in the leh okay there are many people who sell this Okay, and cost. It's still ro rolling, right? Okay. The next thing that is required is the fleece inners. So this is just a normal lux fleece inners. So you can have wear one layer of normal lux fleece inners, and then this is like a this is not a waterproof pant. This is like a normal pant, pant with a fleece inners to it. So th this you can easily get it in Decathlon, and the preferred brand is Kechua. So any any equipment that you are buying, you can go for a Kechua brand here. I'm not. advertising the kechua here but that's from my personal experience kechua is good so fleece inners with a normal pant okay that's it from the bottom now coming up i'll just explain you you need a proper jacket which can 
which can help you survive in minus 10 degree you can see it this is minus 10 this is all that is required a one layer of a jacket uh, even this i bought from a quechua brand you can buy any brand there's no harm in this and the next thing is the fleece jacket so the fleece jacket this all of these things you can get it, get it easily in decathlon this is a fleece jacket okay and the next thing is the fleece inners so this is a fleece inners so this also you can easily get it and then this is like a normal lux thermal inners okay the normal lux thermal inners and then finally you need a synthetic sports dry fit t-shirt so this is a dry fit t-shirt always make sure that is it nothing else after that so always make sure don't wear thermal inners directly wear a synthetic dry fit the layer one then layer two is the thermal inners layer three is the fleece inners layer four is the fleece jacket and layer five is the uh, 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 heavy jacket which can survive which can help you survive in minus 10 degrees okay apart from that the other thing that you would require is a fleece uh, what we call this a fleece gloves so this also you can easily get it either in lay or you can buy the uh, buy it in the decath uh, decathlon okay and very very important after fleece gloves the one that is required is the waterproof gloves so waterproof gloves is must and it's very very important believe me the liner will not help you at, at in any cost in the chadar you need a proper the like like a proper waterproof gloves with a liner inside okay this is all we require and the next thing is a cap which can cover your hair and head together don't forget it you it should cover your ears and head both okay and the next thing is you need a neck gaiter or a balakba okay buy buy a th thinner one like this don't go for a thicker one if you want you can go for a thicker one like this one you can easily get all of these things in lay or you can buy it from your hometown okay so a thinner one like this you, which you can find it in uh, this is from which brand like kalanji this is also i bought it in decathlon a thin balakwa or a neck gaiter is enough this is required for you to cover your neck also it it covers your nose so the nose covering the nose is also very very important most of the times and you need a thermal sorry not thermal what i was about to say is that you need a sunglasses with uh, you don't really require a very dark shade in the chadar because chadar you could see that it hardly the sun hardly falls on the chadar any time so very very rarely you will see the sunlight directly falling on the chadar so you can you can buy like a colorful uh, like a vibrant sunglasses is also fine so that is all you require and that is it like i mean i'm telling i'm i'm just explaining you directly standing comfortably in chadar this is all you need and nothing else and if possible try to get two layers of a pant i mean what i meant is buy two two set of a pant and two set of a thermal inners so this is required just in case if you get down in the water so if you get wet then you would need another set so buy it that's it thank you